Now it's the full shebang, the full forward stride. So how this is going to work is we're going to skate from goal line to goal line. The first goal line, uh, when we start, we want to focus on those first few strides. They want to be very, very explosive. Uh, we want to get bust out 5 to 15 strides. Uh, what those first strides are going to look like is the same way we're like we're revving that engine. The, the stride is going to be quick. The recovery is always going to be explosive. Um, I'm going to keep doing that, chop, 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 all the way up to about the blue line, the first blue line, let's say. And then it makes no sense for me to keep doing that, chop, 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 all the way down the ice. I've already accelerated up to a max speed. Now all I need to do is maintain that speed. So at the blue line, my stride is going to change just a tiny little bit. The stride was quick, and then the recovery was explosive. The stride will change now into an explosive stride and an explosive recovery remains the same. A very soft recovery sometimes is the stride and then a very gentle recovery of the stride. So we don't want gentle, we want it to be very, very explosive every single time. The most common error that I find with this one is players really accelerate well from the goal line to the blue line. The first uh, few strides are really perfect and they get confused with one thing and that's the recovery of the stride once you hit the blue. So if we reiterated, we're just reiterating this, the stride turns into an explosive stride where it's much longer than the first few strides and the recovery remains explosive. So we want to do the exact same thing. Uh, we just want to make sure that the recovery is not a soft uh, recovery, but it's very explosive. So I'm going to actually demonstrate it like a soft recovery, uh, just so that you can see the difference uh, from how I was doing it uh, correctly to how I'm doing it improperly. The most important thing uh, is the switch and the stride. So uh, the, from the goal line to the blue line, we have a nice quick stride and explosive recovery. Um, once we hit the blue line, we want to maintain our speed now that we've gained through that acceleration period. And now our stride is no longer quick, but now it's explosive. So it's going to be a heck of a lot longer, but the recovery is still the same. It's still explosive. That's the single most important thing. That once you hit the blue line, in order to maintain the speed, your recovery doesn't all of a sudden turn into something graceful and soft, but it is still explosive and you still get from, uh, so that you can get from your left stride into the right stride and accelerate even quicker.